Hey guys, so this week on Mystique, we're talking something. For Mystique this week, we're talking about vlogging. And there's a whole bunch of you out there right now that are participating in Vita. That's vlog every day in April. There was a whole Vita crew that participated back in August and that's how a whole lot of us know each other from. So with my very short time on the internet, I actually picked up some tips and tricks from my friends which actually helped me vlog a whole lot better. So right now I'm going to share those tips and tricks with you so you don't sound so cold or calculating when you go online. Tip number one. Tom brought it up and we're all guilty once in a while to break the rule, but try to keep Vita as short as possible. I mean, ideally you want to keep it within the four minute mark because it's all about a give and take when it comes to Vita. I mean, yes, you're going to present your videos, but also watch other people's videos as well. I mean, the whole thing for me when I did Vita was that, is that I really felt a part of a community there. So you can't just be like a lonely island, uh, just post your videos and just wait patiently as your views come in. Because the thing is, time is a commodity for people. And if you're going to be making these 12, 13 minute vlogs, people are just going to look at it, see the time and be like, fuck this. But the people who made their vlogs from two to four minutes, those are the ones I fall in love with. Tip number two, and uh, this was something Nico actually taught me before I even started the whole thing. He told me just to be authentic, just be myself. I mean, you're not Mika Kitty, you're not Ray William Johnson. I mean, yes, take elements from their vlogs and use it to make it your own, but you're not them. You're you. Use that. Be yourself. Be authentic. And when you actually exhibit that in your vlogs, people will realize you're not a fake. You're actually doing it because you're actually talking about stuff that you care about. I mean, you, yes, you're going to get some negative comments and maybe some thumbs down once in a while, but don't care about them. They're not your clientele that you're trying to impress. Like Tom said, and as we say, haters, haters to, the left. to the left. I mean, once you start building an audience, then start catering to them. Or not. I don't care. I mean, it's your vlog. You can do whatever you want with it. That's the beauty of vlogging. There's no right or wrong way of vlogging. It's just a matter of doing it. And number three, actually doing it. A lot of first-time vloggers have issues of just getting started. I mean, I'm as guilty as that as anybody. For the longest time, I've been planning what camera should I use? What editing software should I use? Do I have to know the editing software in and out? I mean, Mika Kitty uses all these special effects. Should I? The answer is no. Just get up there and do it. Once you get the first one out of the way, it's smooth sailing from there. And as Vita progresses, you'll have a really large learning curve as you go along, just learning the editing programs and everything. Number four is to share the crap out of it. Especially if you want to get involved with the Vita community, one of the major things to do is actually to get involved and comment on other people's vlogs, like their vlogs, subscribe to them. If you haven't subscribed to them, why not? And once you get your vlogs up, tweet it, Facebook it, share the crap out of it with everyone you know and get them to share it as well. And for the people doing Vita in April, I mean, you're probably looking for topics as well. I mean, it's not too difficult. Just talk about what's going on in your life. What matters to you? People will listen if you can relate to them. I mean, one of the big reasons why I started Vita was I did this whole 30 day photo challenge and then eventually Vita was a natural progression to that. But if you don't have any topics, go to Nico and Ashley's weblogweevlog.com. Uh, I'll put the link in the doobly-doo. I mean, if you go into their August Vita, they have a whole slew of questions as well as a whole calendar of topics. But there's a whole slew of places where you can also find these things. I mean, go to Tumblr, just type in 30 day challenge blank. I mean, the thing can be adapted from a photo challenge or a, or a film challenge. If you're a movie guy, talk about films, films you like. If this is your first time doing Vita, I am envious of you right now because you are going to embark on a whole new journey that it's going to change your life. Hopefully these tips will help. Okay, love your faces. But if this is your first time vlogging, I mean, there are several tips that I was able to pick up. Sweet, a text.